Much better. Here we go. Excellent. So I wanted to start with a joke. It's March 17th. How's everyone's New Year's resolution doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, all right. You guys remember what your New Year's resolution was? No fast food. Do you, you remember it was supposed to last all year? <laughs> okay. Uh, but see, so I started a New Year's resolution. I started um, wanting to lose weight and uh, produce more content for games I'm working on and music, and I'm nowhere near there. But that's all right, because it's um, the keep trying. That's, I try to get people to um, not give up. If you hit a brick wall, plant some seeds, grow the ivy, the wall's not the problem. Just take your time, be patient, and work on it. Beards aren't grown in a moment of passion, all right? <laughs> so everything takes work, and it's hard to um, want to continue when things feel like obstacles. But get involved in whatever you're working in, whatever you're working on. Meet some other people, because no matter what you're doing, there's a niche for that. Like I do board games, and there's a great board game community at Dallas Games Marathon run by Kevin McKenzie, just a great group of people. But if you're into fancy hats, there, I'm sure there's a fancy hat making and enthusiast group, right? I'm, I've seen them at open stage. Fancy hats, get involved, they're great. There's some over there, see I told you, I knew this was the thing, spotlight it. Yeah, some jewelry and some fancy hats. For everything, there's a group, there's a place if you want to get better at it, if you have speeches or burlesque dancing, there's groups for that. Get involved, work on it, plant the seed, and grow with it. Um, one of the other things I wanted to cover is doing these motivational speeches. It's hard to know if people are like latching on to what I'm trying to say, what I'm, what I'm giving them. But there's a guy, David Taylor. He started a board game review company called To The Table Reviews and has done 30 reviews since the first of the year after seeing one of my speeches. So that felt really good that he reached out to me and said, hey, I'm going to start this thing. And March 17th, he's still going. He's been doing it, is that 70 days, so one every three days. Nice. Something like that, just incredible. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I put talking points on my phone, so I'm going to pull it out, just make sure I remember them all. I apologize for that. It's hard to uh, keep track of everything. Organic growth. So like I was saying, with uh, the meeting groups, I found a guy that does templates for games. He doesn't really do games himself, but he's great at doing like the, where the art should go and where the point value should go. And I hit the brick wall myself. So I was just hanging out in a chat room discussing my problem. And this guy jumped on. He's working on this next project with me now. So if you're, you come to that brick wall, plant some seeds, ask for help, ask to talk to people about what's going on, and there'll be someone there to help you. There just will be. Just keep, keep at it, and you'll find them. Um, and now, because of that, they've recently started a contest with this Canadian company called The Flux Capacity. They have a contest for a publishing contract. So I've got my next game was going to be submitted to that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So that's, you know, that's really, really exciting, and it just feels um, like more than I could hope for. Because, you know, in October, I did my Kickstarter and had brought that to you guys' attention, and it went well. 250 copies sold is pretty awesome. Yeah. For an independent game that I made in, at night, <laughs> you know, it's pretty great. Um, but so the second game has got strong potential now that I've got another person helping me work on the art, and growing organically in the group, talking to people in the chat room, getting involved in the niche that I'm involved in. You will meet, make connections, and it's kind of critical for growth. Um, like the beard. <laughs> Slow and steady, and there will be aggravations along the way. Like sometimes it gets in my mouth, and you have to like get it out of your mouth. That's the worst. I should not have said that here. <laughs> All right. But um, yeah, just keep working on it, keep doing your thing, and remember, a brick wall is not a problem. You can grow on, around, walls go up, you can go all the way up, you can go left and right, a brick wall is not the problem. It's the staying motivating, motivated, staying patient, 
staying persistent. So thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Let's hear for the penguin.